now is a guest that I think needs no introduction, uh, Sarah Brightman. Most people will know Sarah from her musical exploit. I, though, know you most for your astronaut training. Yes, I which think. I really enjoyed, and I really wish that everybody could do it, because for me, as a sort of amateur watcher of space and, and enthusiast of it, um, for me to have that experience, it really opened my brain. And actually, what it did for me more, and it's one of the reasons why I'm really happy I'm here today, is actually made me realise deeply how beautiful our planet is and also how vulnerable it can be, but only to those naughty, naughty asteroids coming down. So, do, do you think this is one of the great benefits, actually, from, that, that will accrue from what space tourism is going to happen? Yes. People are going to get the opportunity to see the Earth from orbit. Do you think just that idea of seeing the Earth as one planet is one of the great benefits? I think it is. I think that the more that people are educated and the thought that they could go outwards and understand and feel it, the more um, they would be interested in days like Asteroid Day, where they could understand where if everything was, why it was working. And actually, there's really nothing to fear, because the more companies and organizations and brilliant people like we have here today can get together to actually um, circumvent, circumvent any um, disaster happening, and, and we understand how it works, I think the more the more the merrier, the more the better. Yeah, knowledge makes us exactly. less vulnerable, Education. not more. Yes. Um, I just wanted to ask you about that. The, you, you, you may still fly. I mean, the idea of getting onto one of those rockets for most people is quite frightening. <laughs> what was it that drew you to, to want to do it? Because it's a huge commitment. I wanted to go outwards. I think naturally, as human beings, we're explorers. And I was born and, and raised through the 60s and was lucky enough to sort of watch on my black and white television the first man land on the, loo, on the moon and all of those things. And suddenly it opened up to me that human beings really can do extraordinary things and, they, and the idea of outwards is actually something we can get to in some way and also all of us can be involved with. Because it feels like, a, I suppose, it's almost a, a minority interest sometimes, doesn't it, space exploration, particularly yes. human space exploration. I mean, what would you say to those people who may be watching now who say, well, yes, but, you know, we've got plenty of problems here on Earth. Why should we consider out there? We do have problems on Earth, but actually what out there does for us, because leading us outwards, it gives us those moments of reflection and understanding more of our own planet. And it gives us a huge amount of happiness, because there will be in the future, not in our lifetime, I'm sure, but there will be in the future, future places that we can go, places that we can explore. There won't only be our planet, but I do reckon when those days come, when we are, we, <laughs> we all here in this room are gone, is that we will understand that our planet, our beautiful sphere there, is something that is very, very extraordinary and something even more to look after. Yeah. You say not in our lifetime. We've got a panel discussion actually a little later yes. on on the fact that we may actually uh, aim to colonise, land an asteroid, go to Mars in our life. I hope so. But I hope so. I, I do hope so. I mean, of course, there are wonderful suborbital flights that are going to be made within yeah. our lifetime. And I do hope that I will see people getting on Mars. I uh, Personally, from, from, my, from my point of view, I think it might be later than earlier, but that's, that's just my personal opinion. Okay, well, thank you for now, Sarah. <laughs> That's so, right. yeah, I, I envy you, by the way, with all that training that you did. Oh, I wish you could have come with me. And actually, you must do it because you're a total enthusiast and a brilliant man. <laughs> and I, I wish you lots of luck getting there. <laughs> no, thank you very much. <laughs> but now, uh, back over to Jean Lucas.